28th, as promised, our second pudding day of the week. Tapioca pudding today. So never did this one before. No need to say, hey, here's what you need. That's what you need. It's six things. Piece of cake, right? Uh, tapioca is these little pearly looking things. It kind of looks like cottage cheese if you strained it and left just the little curdy things out of it. Uh, or silica gel, which you're not supposed to eat. <laughs> it comes in your packing material stuff. Um, it's, yeah, it's a weird consistency. I mean, now these tapioca you had to soak overnight. So make sure if you're using tapioca. For this one, it says don't use instant tapioca, so we didn't. We used regular small pearl uh, tapioca. And just read the directions on the package, because some of the small pearl ones, you have to soak it overnight, which is what we did. Okay, so it's kind of like wet and soft already, but still firm. Almost like a, an al dente risotto, kind of. No, kind of squishier than that. Okay, so let's get started today on a really low heat. Really, really, really low heat. Okay? You're going to take three cups of whole milk. Okay, put that into your saucepan. Very, very, this is one of those ones I think we're going to have to babysit for a while. Because it takes a long time to do. Okay, to that milk you're going to add a quarter teaspoon of salt. And your tapioca. Okay, you're already pre-soaked tapioca. Now you drain it too after you soak it. Don't just dump it in there with all the water. Strain it out after you soak it overnight. So that's just the pearls of the tapioca. Okay, and you're just gonna mix that together and we're gonna bring this to barely a simmer. We don't want it to boil. We don't want it to, you know, really, really simmer, simmer. Okay, just till it gets nice and hot. Barely a simmer. So that's why you're going to do really low heat. Make sure you're stirring this so it's not sticking to the bottom because the, the uh, tapioca is not floating. It's sitting on the bottom. So you want to make sure that you keep stirring this along, okay? So let's just do this until we get to that simmer and we'll be right back. It's going to be a fast show today, but that's okay because it's tapioca pudding. Who doesn't love pudding? Tapioca? Never made this one before. Very excited to try tapioca today. Alrighty. Okay, and then once you see that it's getting to that stage where it's kind of like that just barely a simmer, you're going to take a half a cup of sugar and a little bit at a time, you're just going to stir it in. So you put a little bit in and just stir it and let it work a little bit, okay? Now, according to what it tells me, that these tapioca are going to plump up. So they already look like they're bigger than they were when they went in. And I'm starting to see them more now, whereas when I first put them in, you didn't really see them at all. They kind of were at the bottom. Now they're kind of floating a bit, and this consistency is getting a little thicker here, this milk, okay? So little by little, just add your half a cup of sugar, and just let this simmer away, okay? Barely a simmer away. Okay, so next, I have a bowl here with two eggs in it. Now, normally when we do custards and puddings before, it's usually just the yolks that we use, but on this recipe it just said, ooh, look, good catch. A little egg on me, it's all right. A little egg on your face. <laughs> uh, this one says use the whole egg, so that's what we're doing. Okay, and now we have to do the, the old temper trick. Okay, since we didn't start from everything cold in the same pot, which I wonder if that would work with this. I don't know, we'll have to try it next time. But anyway, Whisk, 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 a little bit at a time, not too much. Just drizzle a little tiny bit of this in there. You just want to bring this to temperature, okay? But make sure you're whisking away. Okay, so you whisk that and then pour it back into this pot once you do that. Whisking, whisking, whisking. Don't just dump it in and let it sit there, okay? You want to whisk it in so it kind of all incorporates and gets to the same temperature together without cooking your eggs. And just cook it for a couple minutes till you see it's going to already starting to thicken up. I mean, it's already almost a pudding consistency. So we're just going to let this thicken up just for a couple minutes and then we'll be good to go. 
At this point, you can take your teaspoon of vanilla, whisk that into here, because you need that little shot of vanilla in here. And that's it. A couple minutes. We're going to put this into a bowl. We're going to let it cool down to room temperature, you know, about a half hour or so. Let it cool down. Um, and then we're going to get it into the fridge. And we'll try it later once it's chilled fully. And we know what it tastes like. Now, it also says you can serve this warm. So we're definitely going to taste it as soon as we put it into our bowl as a warm tapioca or a hot tapioca. Um, and see what that tastes like too. This thing is just about done as you can see. It's thickened up nicely. And it's obviously once it cools down it's going to thicken up a lot more. Okay, so we'll just get it into a bowl here. Probably going to need a second bowl here. That's yeah. yeah, alright. Two nice portions. Two nice big bowls. <laughs> I said you can see already it's pretty thick so it doesn't take long I mean this thing took like 10 minutes I mean if you're not including the overnight of soaking your tapioca I mean it was nothing to make this again another example of seeing these puddings and stuff like the time that you would take to make the box mix and, sh and shake it or cook it on the stove whatever and cool it whatever you could be making from scratch, you know? Six ingredients. How do you beat six ingredients? You can't. Let's give it a taste. Wow. That is some good tapioca. <laughs> I haven't had tapioca in a long time, not even the snack pack. Alrighty, so what we're gonna do is let these cool, like I said, for about a half hour, then we're gonna do the trick with the plastic wrap right on it just so we don't have that skin on the top I don't mind the skin on certain puddings chocolate yes other ones eh, I don't know I know it's weird but whatever that's me okay see you in a little bit when this thing is cooled and we try the cool version of it the hot version is fantastic right now alrighty back in a bit alright and there it is nice and chilled it's a nice uh Thick pudding we got here. Boy, that's really thick. I didn't think it was going to be that thick. Boy, that's really thick. That thickened up a heck of a lot. So I'm just going to make these just a couple little tasting servings just so we can see what it tastes like. And of course, you got to put a little whipped cream. I do keep the store bought canned stuff on hand just in case impromptu in case I don't have heavy cream to make my own but there it is a little tapioca pudding let's give this thing a taste see how we did first time with this it's good it's just a weird consistency these little these little gel <laughs> these little gel balls that you got in here that just give it that weird consistency but it's really good flavors right on it's a good tapioca pudding maybe if I let it sit out a little bit maybe it's just a little firm because it's so cold right out of the fridge maybe if it sat out a little bit it would loosen back up because I mean it's really thick but alrighty tapioca pudding day Make your own, buy your own, whatever you got to do. Alrighty? We'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be a little interesting. Tomorrow's an experiment. I'll tell you more about it when we get there. We'll see how we do. Alrighty? See you tomorrow, everybody.